Okay, so this is where I am here. I'm putting in a little filler uh, siding pieces uh, because uh, in order to put the tar paper down, I have to put the drip edge. But before I put the drip edge, I want to put the trim. And before I put the trim up, I have to put these little filler pieces in over the uh, rafters that are sticking out here. So there's one there and one on the other side. And then um, I didn't put the bird blocks in. I could have put them flush with the siding, but I put them flush with the frame. So I have uh, the uh, thickness of the siding gap there at the top. So I'm filling that in. Uh, I didn't care if the lines matched up uh, initially with the first one here because I'm going to have a fascia board. That's another thing. I have to put the fascia board on it before I can put the uh, bottom droop page on too. Uh, but then I said, oh, you know, let me line them up if I can. I've got all the scrap pieces I'm using. So it's like four and a half inch wide piece by 22 and a half roughly. So I got those two in. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five on each side. You can see what I'm talking about here. Got a little bit of a lip here. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I've got all the little scrap, so I might as well use it. Looks good too. But again, the fa once the fascia is in, I was going to block this in, but um, it's just it's just a shed. I was just wondering if I'm going to have a problem with a lot of uh, bees making their nests underneath here. I could do that at a later date. I, I want to put uh, gutters on so I can catch uh, the rain from this and put it into uh, rain barrels. So I've got uh, seven more of these I have to cut. And like I said, I'm lining the lines up now, even though you're not going to see them. Okay, so I've got the trim up around the uh, roof. So now I can put the drip edge on. I've got one side there with the drip edge and I'm putting the felt on. I have one side with the felt. Uh, it's about 10 feet, six inches. I'm leaving a little extra. And when I rolled out the first sheet, I'm like, I don't think I have enough. Just bought one roll, but then rolled out the second and I think I've got plenty. Just didn't seem like it at first. So I'm tacking it down with those um, those fasteners that have the plastic washer on it. And um, I don't know if I'll get all the drip edge on. I'm supposed to get maybe four or five inches of rain on Wednesday. Um, and then something might swing back around. And um, so it's going to be lingering. We need it. Everything's soil's powder around here. So hopefully I'll just have the, at least have the felt on and uh, keep the plywood somewhat dry. And uh, the hard, hardest part is going to be putting the shingles up. See if I can figure out how that's done. And you can see here it did bother me. I replaced that piece so the, the lines lined up. It was going to be the only piece that didn't so I replaced it and I had these boards they're five and a five and a half so there's a little bit of the edge of the rafter showing on the bottom but you'd have to cut custom rip them uh, 
and you know I already had the boards so I'm using what I have from the cellar I think I bought these for trim for the uh, lean-to so now that I'm looking at it I think I'll just leave that open like that I'll, I'll paint it when I get a chance and uh, spray if there's ever, ever a wasp nest or a hornet's nest so it looks okay I guess Probably paint this next year. It's got a primer on it already, anyways. So let me see if I can get uh, the rest of the felt up and the drip edge. Thanks for watching.